We are ready for contestant number two. Representing Heart of the Blue Ridge, Region 14, from Atlanta, Georgia, under the direction of Becky Hine, Song of Atlanta Chorus. Life in the big house hasn't been easy, even for a hotsy totsy diva like me. One minute you're up on top and the next, you are yesterday's news. But life wasn't always like this. I used to have my name up in lights. Come on, we'll show you what it was like. Maybe we got your attention. Would you like to know a little more about how some of these sweet young things ended up in here? Well, everybody's got their own story to tell. But let me tell you one thing, sister. We're not all sweet.
these little habits that get you down? Like Pup, Pride of Portland. They like to walk around wearing nun costumes. <laughs> Nuns. So this one night I'm particularly irritated watching Pride of Portland do a nun package. And there's Ryan Heller strutting around in a nun costume. So I says to Ryan, I says, Ryan, you do that nun set one more time. And they did. And so I put on my fake chorus nails and I ripped those nasty habits to shreds. He had it coming. He had it coming. I met Jim Arons back in Chicago. I told him I was a singer. He said he was a director of a small chorus and had some metals, I don't know. So we went out to drinks and then we had dinner. We hit it off. He asked me out the next night. I did a little research. Small chorus, melodiers, metals, six now seven gold medals. <laughs> so we went out to eat that night. I sat down at the bar. I said, bartender, I want to order him a drink. Some guys just can't handle their scotch and cyanide. He had it coming. He had it coming. at the Barbie doll case at Sweet Adelines International, I'm minding my own business looking at all the Barbies. Who walks in but Brittle and Bonadol in a fiery Swedish rage? She was crazy. She screamed, you've been playing with my Barbie. She got so upset, she fell in that glass case. She fell into that glass case 10 times. to join the rich tones. The last number in our act, we did 20 vocal acrobatic tricks in a row. Lifted eyebrows, raised palate, low larynx, one right after the other. One night after rehearsal, a few of us are sitting around having some laughs. We run out of water, so I go out and get some. I come back, there's Veronica and Dale doing number 17 with their new quartet. Well, I was in such a state of shock. I completely blacked out, can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later, when I was watching them tumble into the judge's pit, I even knew I had pushed them. They had it come, 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 they had Pam Tyson herself even told me that I was their number one fan. But when they won regional last year, they didn't even thank me. It was all about Darlene, Marcia, Erin, and get this, Tony. Seriously? Can't believe it. Well, anyways, the Harbor Lights entire front row may have taken a tumble falling down the stairs as they exited the stage. Couldn't cartwheel for a year. I don't see what the fuss is about, though. They were only like half steps. <laughs>
finally, the big day is here and these little birdies are flying south for the winter. Early release for good behavior. And a big thank you to Big Daddy and all his associates and all that money. Now you ever get down to Georgia, you make sure and look me up cause I make a killer sweet tea. It's to die for.